A New York woman was kicked to the curb by her new boyfriend after she candidly professed her sober love for her male best friend. Just watch the video. I got broken up with because I posted this video on my story. Okay, broken up with is dramatic as I was only talking to him for three weeks and we went on one date. But after I posted that story, he was so annoyed with me. He basically told me that he doesn't do guy best friends um, with the girls that he's speaking to. And if he's pursuing someone, he just doesn't really respect the fact that I'm, you know, I have a male in my life that I love real bad. Now, some of you may be as confused as me because this is literally my best friend of six years. He's like my brother at this point, And I would never even look at him a certain way. But this guy was serious and he was not letting up on this boundary that he had placed. So the only thing I could do was respect it. I explained to him what the situation was, that it was not like that, but he wasn't hearing it, so he cut me off. So now I'm just sitting here like, damn, was it really that deep? This video has been going viral for days and has social media more divided than a broken heart. Somebody tweeted, I'm just going to ask a question and I'm being serious, no funny stuff. Is there anything that guys are allowed to say to women? Sorry, but this doesn't work for me. That doesn't get him labeled insecure borderline abusive or get the physiology of his genitals speculated on another person also said having a male best friend is just a modern day open relationship women will use their male best friend for the emotional connection and support and use their romantic relationship for sex and aesthetics and a man not wanting to participate in that doesn't make him insecure okay somebody also said how is it insecure for expressing that he's uncomfortable with it he didn't say end of friendship. He simply communicated with her and went about his business because he could have just ghosted her and not said anything. Sounds like she might have missed out on a good one, but pan her on, dude. Another person also said, someone else having a friend isn't them crossing your boundary. It's outside of your preference because you don't like it. Crossing a boundary is when someone does something to you or violates an agreement you made with them. A pre-existing friendship can be your boundary. Okay. This person also said him being able to acknowledge that he has no respect for platonic relationships and is too insecure to be with a woman who does and choosing to leave instead of staying in a situation that makes everyone involved uncomfortable is the best choice. Somebody also said finally someone knows what a boundary is. Notice that he didn't tell her get rid of your best friend or I'm gone. He saw a situation wanted no parts of it and dipped. Yes men and women can be friends but buddy did the right thing here. Two things can be correct. And I agree, he didn't want that to become a problem later, and he just left. Another person also said, if your bestie want the best for you, he won't watch you lose a relationship because of him. You might not be reasonable enough to tell him, but he should be able to tell when to step the fuck back. He doesn't love you, he's just waiting for his turn to fuck or continue to fuck, as the case may be. Somebody also said, I will die on this hill, but I will never ever date a man with a girl bestie, nor should I expect someone to date me if I had a guy bestie. And was going on friend dates with them and texting them 24 7. another person also said there's no way he's wrong she clearly can't set boundaries with her friends if your friend is already doing my duty and gets told the same love language again publicly just as me then he's my teammate obviously is disrespectful and we're going to end with this this person said i understand her point but almost every single woman i have known whether as a friend or more that has had a male best friend has slept with them at one point or another I don't fault anybody wanting to protect their peace. So yeah, it goes on and on and on. But let me know, would you be comfortable with your girlfriend or boyfriend? Be best friends with the opposite sex? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Peace.